What's up everybody? Today I'm back at it with the El Camino. I am going to knock down all the filler and stuff that's on that uh, quarter panel so I can really see what we're dealing with everywhere with that patch panel so I know what I need to get. I found some patch panels online so hopefully it's something I can just replace and there's not a lot of rust damage or just random stuff like that. So you can follow me along with that and then also a question for everybody you can put it in the comments below uh what has been the best primer that you guys have used or you that you've had the best experience with because when i painted my truck um i used one primer and then the primer ended up just bubbling up it was even falling off in some places so i had to pretty much sand it all off and then i used a different primer it was like a napper brand primer that actually we ended up using to prime my truck so if you've had any success with any primers or i prefer to have i guess it's called a high fill primer or anything like that where i can block it you know and so it covers a little bit better but Most of it knocked away now this side is all pretty much done and it is see this is the rocker panel so this panel should have went into here or was welded should have been welded to this this metal the weird thing about this piece here is it's clearly not uh for an El Camino if you look right here there's like a running light or a some sort of reflector or something that should have been in this little panel. But the but also it has body lines to it. It has a body line right here that they bondoed over. You can feel it right here starting to form as I'm knocking it down. But then it also has a body line right here, which is similar to that. So I don't know if it's just an old, another Chevy that had a body line like that, but it's it's pretty beat up. Uh, but the crazy thing is, is I, did, I didn't even look in the wheel well. And I should have. See if you can even see it. Yeah. So that's all just filler. I don't know if they just got bored and they just wanted to, to stack it on the inside. It looks like it's 
looks pretty good all the way through. So that's definitely going to be fun knocking the rest of the way out. Um, so I think I'll knock this filler as much as I can out from the inside of here, um, from the inside of the wheel well, and then I'll pretty much go from there. That'll probably be all I'll do for the day. I think I'll knock down that other side and see if it looks pretty similar. I imagine it does. Um, well, I guess one thing that an hour of sanding teaches you is maybe you ought to save up and invest in an air blaster, right? Or uh, maybe you ought to save up and invest in a media blaster or something like that. I just went straight ahead and just cut it off because I wanted to see what metal is left. Actually, I'm glad that there is some still left here, which means I should be able to put a new patch panel in there fairly well. Um, the I measured the patch panel that I'm getting, and it's 18 and a half inches tall. So from which it works out good because from here to about like right there is 18 and a half inches so it should it should fit pretty pretty good and I, I'm, I'm hoping I won't have to fight with all this stuff that they kind of just threw a crap ton of welds at um the weird thing is is we got this right here and then this is just kind of this is just hanging here so I don't know what I'm guessing this was a this was another quarter that was put on here and then they and they just kind of hung it and so yeah i'm i've got plenty of sheet metal work that i'm gonna have to do which I'm thanks for watching everybody hopefully you enjoyed the little demolition of a day i had today we will see you next time